Hey there, welcome back. Uh, a new project on the bench is going to be this AMT uh, 125th kit, uh, 57 Chrysler 300C. So we're going to tackle this one, boys and girls. And uh, of course, you know me and my builds. I can't leave anything alone. So we're going to do a little tweaking to it and uh, we're going to make it our own. Hang on one sec, we'll get the box out of the way, show you where we are. Basic plans, hold on. <clears throat> And angle this baby. Hang on, guys. All right. You know I leave body to last because I handle it so much when I'm doing my dry fitting and test fitting and working out how things are going to come together and whether everything's going to... This plan is going to fit. Uh, but anyway, body's um, not much to look at. Uh, where we are, early stages. Um... The motor we're kind of tackling first. Hang on one sec. We'll get you in. Get this baby in here so you can see what's going on. Um, <clears throat> motor, we got block halves glued together. Uh, well pan glued on. Um, that's about the only thing that's glued together on this so far. Everything else you see in this, in this shot is held together with uh, Elmer's adhesive tack. So I can plan out... Um, how this is all going to come together and make sure I got clearances for things. So, as you can see, whether you guys have built this kit or not, I'm not going to use the stock air filters. I'm going to use uh, a couple of my machined aluminum air cleaners on here. So I've got clearance for those. So we just, of course, got them tacked into place to make sure I've got clearance for valve covers and, and uh, plug wires and whatnot. Um, on the front side, we're just working out our spacing for our pulleys, and we're going to run uh, machined aluminum pulleys uh, for the belt setup on this as well. So I'm just getting my pinning down my spacing for uh, for my pulleys on this setup. Uh, so so far so good. Everything looks like it's going to work out fine. Um, I'll know a little better because I've got to mount the generator sits up high on this and the power steering pump down on the left uh, side of the cylinder head. So I've got to uh, work out spacing for those as well, but it's early stages. Now primary, I need to set the um, water pump and the crank pulley first, and then everything else gets spaced out um, by my positioning of that. Uh, wheels. Well, I don't have any dog dish Dodge hubcaps or Plymouth hubcaps, so what I've done is I've taken the stock wheels and get this to focus. Hang on a second. We've got the stock wheels. Nope. Oh. And what we've done is I've cut the center, the center section. Come on, focus, baby. I've cut the outside edge off. And I'm just going to use the inner, we'll call it a dog dish, or make some dog dish, hubcaps out of the center. So I've done one, and I have painted that. Um, the outside edge of that is going to be the body color, which is a pale green that I've mixed up. And if you get the wheel in the right light, the machine polished machined aluminum wheels reflect the color on the side of the hubcap that I've painted body color on the outside edge as you can see and what I've used on the inside edge of the dog dish hubcap is some Elclad their armored glass uh, armored green uh, glass so that's in the center of the dog dish hubcap and uh, if you get that wheel in the right light, it reflects the body color from the side of the hubcap. So I think that's going to look kind of cool on the car. Depending on what angle you get it at, it changes. So I think that's going to be kind of cool. And everything else, I've got my power steering pump. Got my power steering pump pulley tacked on there. And we've got our 
generator. Come on, baby, focus. You can do it. You know, are you going to focus? Nope, we're not going to focus. Of course not. Anyway, so pulleys are tacked on for now, and we'll work out spacing. Uh, we're going to get it low, and I want to get it down low, low, because I like them low, as you know. Oh, look out. Kind of like so. So we're thinking that's going to look half decent when we're finished with this. It's going to be probably a, it's going to be, I've mixed up, taken some uh, testers, uh, gloss white, and I've mixed some. What is this called again? It's a uh, green fluorescent uh, testers, number 1174. Mixed a bit of that with white, and it's going to be a pale, pale greeny color. Uh, whether I do it two-tone or not, I uh, haven't decided yet. We'll kind of make that decision as we get further into the build. Anyway, quick one, guys. Um, new project on the bench. And as always, uh, stay tuned. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you.